in this video i explain you different arrangement of combined cycle power plants so you already know that in a combined cycle power plant majority three systems are there one system is the gas turbine power plant second one is the hrsg means heat recovery steam generators and the third part is the steam turbines or a steam turbine power plants so if we arrange this component on a different way then it is called as the different arrangement of combined cycles power plant or we can add the supplementary fuel firing then it is called as the different arrangements okay so this different arrangement is depend on the number of factors okay the gas turbine hrsg and the steam turbines can be arranged in many different combination and this combination is depend on the various parameters first parameter is the size of the gas turbine second parameter is the electric power generation requirement means how much electricity we want to produce third parameter is economics of applications and the fourth parameter is the cogeneration cogeneration means the steam coming out from the steam turbine can use for the different process heating it is called as the cogeneration okay so there is a three types of various arrangement are that so first arrangement is steam and gas turbine combined cycle without supplementary fuel firing so this is a same system that i explained in last to last video okay so basic requirement for studying this different arrangement is that we know the combined cycle power plant so if you know the combined cycle power plant then this topic is very easy for us to understand okay so in this case the heat in the exhaust gas of a simple gas turbine plant can be used to generate steam in hrsg so here you see these diagrams okay so this is the same diagrams that i explained in last to last video okay so this upper part is the gas turbine power plant compressor combustion chambers and the gas turbine okay and here you see this exhaust gas coming out from the gas turbine plant can be used to generate steam in hrsg hrsg means heat recovery steam generators okay so here you see that exhaust gas coming out from the gas turbine is supplied on the hrsg okay and then after this exhaust gas is supplied to the atmosphere through the chimney and the steam produced or the water heater in these evaporators is supplied to this boiler okay so this hrsg is the combination of economizers evaporators and the superheaters okay so functions of the economizer is to heat the waters functions of the evaporator is to evaporate the water means convert the water into steam and the function of the superheater heat to is to superheat the steam then after this steam is supplied in the steam turbines okay the steam generated is used in a steam turbine for power generation as shown in this figure so in a steam turbine the mechanical energy is produced this mechanical energy is supplied to the generators and the generator is convert mechanical energy into electrical energy and then after the same process is carried out that you already know about the steam power plants okay so this is called as the first case now the next case is the steam and gas turbine combined cycle with supplementary fuel firing okay in the last case what we understand without supplementary fuel firing means we are not added fuel in other parts okay we only add the fuels in this combustion chambers okay now in second case that is a additional supplementary firing is there means with supplementary fuel firing so in this case the heat and o2 carry with the exhaust gas both are pass the waste heat boiler in which the heat is added to the gas by supplying the fuel in the secondary combustion chamber it is called as supplementary fuel firing now now here you see this diagram of the system with supplementary fuel firing okay so this is the compressor combustion chamber gas turbine this part is as it is okay so part of the gas turbines are as it is just we need to add supplementary fuel firing system in between this gas turbine power plant and the steam turbine power plant okay so from the name what we understand supplementary fuel firing means the additional heat energy is added in this exhaust gas okay means here you see the fuel is in this exhaust gas is in okay so here this temperature of the exhaust gas is increased by adding the fuel then after all the component are stay 
that is the HRSG, steam turbines, condensers, and the pump. Okay, so these part are same. Just we need to add the supplementary fuel firing system in between this gas turbine power plant and the steam turbine power plant. The steam generated in the boiler is used to produce the electric power as shown in this figure means here the steam is produced it is supplied in steam turbines and then in a generator electricity is produced the supplementary fuel firing system is provided in hrsg to produce more power from steam turbine power plant okay so here we adding this heat energy to the exhaust gases then by default the more steam is produced than the electricity production is increased in a steam turbine power plant However, supplementary fire combined cycle is less efficient than unfire due to less utilization of waste and supplementary heat. Means compared to the last system, this system are less efficient because of this less utilization of the waste and supplementary heat. Therefore, supplementary firing become less and less attractive. Means these systems are not more used in a actual practice so generally it is more profitable to burn the fuel in a combustion chamber of the gas turbine power plant itself means instead of using this system we need to supply this additional fuel that we supplied in the supplementary fuel firing system this fuel is directly supplied in the combustion chambers okay so here we supply this additional fuel in the combustion chamber then this temperature of the gases is increased that supplied to this gas turbines okay so here this is a compression and this is the turbine means here we add the more fuels than the outlet temperature of the gases is increased okay so we use this system then it is the more profitable itself since the heat is supplied to the system at a temperature higher than in the steam cycles because here this temperature are higher in this combustion chamber so it is profitable to add the fuel in a combustion chamber instance in a supplementary fuel firing system before moving ahead to the third system i request to like the video subscribe my channels for watching the more video related to power plant engineering and other subject of this mechanical engineering for power plant engineering various link is provided in descriptions as well as in car for other subject i request you to visit the playlist third system is steam and gas turbine combined cycle with process heating process heating means it is used in a different industries for the different heating purpose means the steam coming out from the steam turbine is supplied for the various process heating depending on the types of the industries so here you see these diagrams okay so steam coming out from the steam turbine is supplied to the process steam okay means here no condensers are there okay so we not use the condenser and the steam coming from the steam turbine is directly used for the process heating and other different component are that here the additional boilers are used okay that i explain here in this case heat in the exhaust gases of a gas turbine plant is used to generate the low pressure steam means in this system the two type of the steam is produced one is called as the low pressure steam second one is called as the high pressure steam okay here you see this is a gas turbine power plant this is the compressor heat exchanger type combustion chambers are there okay and this is the gas turbine and exhaust gas coming out from the gas turbine is supplied to this hrsg means heat recovery steam generators or a boilers and in this hrsd the steam produced with the low pressures okay so here you see this low pressure steam produced is supplied in the low pressure stages of the steam turbines in addition to hrsg the steam boiler is used okay means with addition to hrsg here the boiler is used okay and in this boiler the high pressure and high temperature steam is produced so here you see this high pressure steam is produced and it is supplied to these steam turbines so this high pressure steam and the low pressure steam from the hrsg are expand in a non condensing type steam turbine to produce the electricity okay so here you see this high pressure steam is supplied at the entry of the steam turbine 
low pressure steam coming out from the hrsg is supplied in a low pressure stages of the steam turbines okay and this steam is expand in this steam turbine means mechanical energy is produced then after this mechanical energy is supplied in a generators and the electricity is produced and it is called as the non condensing type steam turbine means the steam outlet from the steam turbine is not supplied to the condenser that's why it is called as the non condensing type steam turbines this exhaust steam coming from the steam turbine is used as a process steam as shown in this figure here you see this process steam process steam means it is supplied in a some process for the heating purpose so these types of the co generation is most economically used in process industries such as the chemical steel paper and the petroleum refining this arrangement has a considerable advantage as it does not require steam condensing system with its capital cost means this arrangement have a advantage that does not require steam condensing system here you see after the steam turbine there is a no condenser is there okay so that is a cost of the system is reduced it also minimize the impact of heated discharge to the environment means the exhaust steam coming out from the steam turbine have a higher temperatures okay so this high temperature steam is not supplied to the atmosphere means the global warming is reduce if you use this type of the system so thank you for watching this video if you learn something then like the video subscribe my channels and don't forget to share with your friends